Yes, I have called you here. Mm hmm. It's regarding the meeting that will be held on. Oh, yeah, next week, Thursday. I would like to revise a couple of things from the memo and. What's with the face, my dear? It doesn't seem like it's nothing. What's going on with you? You seem troubled these past few days. Tell me, what's been bothering you? I know work's been hard these past few days, but I promise it will all be worth it. Okay, love. I'll finish up here. Wait for me downstairs, okay? I love you too. <sighs> Let's hope intentionally ignoring what day it is will make the surprise even more special. Sorry I took a while. Mr. Higgins wanted to have a chat. What did we talk about? Uh, nothing much other than business. Why did you ask? She's getting more and more disappointed every time I open my mouth. What the fuck is this plan, George? Hmm? Oh yeah, you're right, the stars are out tonight. Mm-hmm. The month of August sure brings out the beautiful stars at night. Shit. George, your sister's dropping hints. What day is it today? Um, just another business day. Stop the car? Why? Uh, okay, okay, I'm stopping the car. Ah, shit. I fucked up. Damn it, George. To hell with the plan, I'm going rogue. Love. Love, wait. Love, I know what today is, okay? You can go back to the car now. Yes, I know. Your birthday. I haven't done anything. Yet. <sighs> I might as well ruin the surprise. Here. Yeah. Early paycheck? <laughs> Goodness no. Take a look what's inside. Mm-hmm. A certificate. For what? Read it. Yes, that's true. A star is named after you. The announcement will be tomorrow. I told them to do it today, but they had some unfortunate delays. Don't thank me just yet, love. That's not all. Mm-hmm. There's more. What else? Candlelight dinner at the manor. I told the chefs to cook all your favourites. I'm sorry that I have to pretend I didn't notice today was your birthday. 
Blame your little brother. He's the one who planned all this. <laughs> You'll make him pay. Let's go home then. Him and his friends borrowed the pool. I spoil him too much. No, I don't. No, I don't. I just do him special favours. Yes, there is too a difference. Frederick, is dinner ready? Excellent. Um, love, can you go ahead to the dining room? I just have to drop these papers off. I'll meet you there shortly. Hello, George. Yes. The eagle has landed. You're absolutely sure this will work? You know, the first stage of your so-called plan didn't go at the best of starts. You all sit at your end. Copy that. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> Thank you all. Charmer out. Ah. <sighs> You can do this. You're one of the richest people on earth. You can do this. Just get your head in the game. Breathe. <sighs> game on. Hello, love. I hope I haven't made you wait that long. So, how's the decor? Glad you like it. Not gonna lie. The chefs nailed the Filipino menu I told them to. I know they're your favourite. Brings you good memories from the trip to the Philippines, you say? And by good memories, might that be from the night at the hotel? <laughs> that got your cheeks, huh? Ah, oh, she looks absolutely ravishing in the candlelight. What am I doing? Looking at you. You're welcome. And happy birthday, love. You finished eating? Just in time. The chef's also baked you a cake. Your favourite flavour, of course. Make your wish. Love, would you like to go to the balcony with me? Yes, you can take my hand. A nice view, isn't it? And look, you can see the star named after you. That's beautiful, isn't it? Just like you. You're welcome, love. Like I said before, for you, anything. Yes, love, anything. I love you too. Ah. Our beauty shines along with the moonlight. Her eyes sparkle like the star named after her. She's so ravishing. She's perfect. Just looking at your eyes. Love, remember the first time we met? 
You remember it like it was yesterday. Well, me too. I was a broken man then. My ex left me for someone else. The company's stock dove down. My self-confidence was shattered. I was the man who had the world and lost it all in a heartbeat. I was nothing. I felt I've lost everything. Until I met you. Mm-hmm. You're an absolute life changer, you know that? <laughs> no, I'm not being frisky. I'm just saying the truth, you goof. No, but seriously. You really changed my life. I still remember what you said to me back then. You said, You're broken. Don't fight the tears. Let it run down. For a broken heart stays broken if you don't let out the pain from within. Yes, really. You said that. To be honest, you sounded like Sun Tzu. You gave me something I didn't have. Someone to talk to. You were the first person to treat me like normal. Not as a royalty, nor a golden child. But a friend. And sooner than later, you fell for me first. But I fell for you even harder. I was about to bring that up. That time we accidentally got lost on our trip to Japan. I was still learning Japanese then, so we had no clue what each sign says. And then we somehow ended up in a random ramen shop to ease everything off. And there we are sitting, enjoying this nice hot bowl of ramen. He looked at me and said, This is far better than any other five-star hotel money can buy. And by then on, I knew. I wanted to spend each and every day of my life with you. For the last six years we've known each other. You have given me the one thing money cannot buy. Pure and unconditional love. You gave my grey world colour. And I want to spend the rest of my colourful life with you. Love. Will you marry me? Yes. You do. I love you. Command. She said yes. Happy birthday, love. Fiance now. <laughs> Let's take this to the bedroom, shall we? Let me carry you there. I love you too.